Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to be back with you guys. I know I've been gone for a minute, just busy with work, busy with school, all the normal things that life catches you up on. Anyways, I just wanna jump right in. Um, I'm going to be doing a video that's a little bit different than what I've normally been doing. It's gonna be a DIY makeover video. And if you're interested in seeing how I made over my patio slash balcony please stay tuned for the rest of the video okay guys so I just wanted to go over um, the things that I bought for my patio to complete it my patio is pretty bare I only have two chairs and a little side table that I picked up from Target and in total it was probably about 60 bucks for the two chairs and the side table um, I've had them now for about a year and I don't plan on getting rid of them for now I'm going to still use them um, in my patio makeover just because they still work and the extra seating is very much so necessary <laughs> not like I have a lot of friends or something but I'm just saying like I can use the extra seating why throw them away at this point so I just incorporated some of the colors from the, the chairs that I already have which is like turquoise or teal onto the other parts that I bought for the patio to complete it. So the most important thing or like the biggest purchase that I got is this seat right here. Um, it is a love seat and I'll show a um, better video of it later when I'm actually putting it into its position. But I got this off of Wayfair for about $160. Um, I was looking for something that was in the hundreds, something that wasn't too expensive, but honestly guys uh outdoor furniture is expensive and i don't understand why i mean i get it it has to be weatherproof like take care of, t take on all of the elements and all of that but i'm like damn this shit is expensive <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i was originally looking on ikea at this um love seat that was pretty small um and it was around the same price but <sighs> the delivery fee no ikea Y'all tripping? Two hundred dollars to deliver it to my house when the item itself is only a hundred and what twenty dollars? Y'all tripping? So I searched. I found this. I like it. It goes with the aesthetic that I was going for, which is kind of a bohemian, like boho chic kind of vibe. Something that was just really nice outdoorsy, but also like nice. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try my best to remember the prices that I paid and the places that I got these items from, because I want to give you guys the best information that I can about these items that one also came with a cushion and um that was included with the purchase and i was expecting it to be more of like a cream white color the cushion and i'll show you guys in a minute but it's like not it's like more beige and it kind of looked like green a little bit i don't know i'm hoping that it still comes together but i was a little disappointed in that with the purchase so i'll probably give it like hmm like a 7.8 or an 8 out of 10 if I had to rate it on how happy I am with that purchase. It wasn't that hard to put together but I did run into a snag because two of the holes on the side that were supposed to go with the bolts that you screw the um, screw bolts in. I don't know all these technical terms about building shit okay. But anyways those weren't deep enough so I wasn't able to screw those extra ones in to make sure it the seat was extra secure there's another screw at the top and then several screws in the back so and I sat on it and bounced and it didn't seem like it was gonna break so I'm hoping that this this don't break on me because I actually like it it's pretty nice and it actually fit in the space that I have because my patio is really not that big all right so the next items that I got were from Target they were a couple of pillows um, it's this pillow here so the color scheme I was going for without being too much of too many colors was pink cream um, teal because those are the seating that I have that color and um, black so those are kind of the colors that I was looking for when I was purchasing things so I saw this pillow it's really nice I think it was about I ain't gonna lie y'all I don't know it was probably like 20 or 25 dollars for this pillow so yeah and i got two of them because the back of the love seat is hardwood and it doesn't have any like um pillow or cushion in the back so i wanted to get something that would be a little more softer and just give it a little extra cushion so i got these and i like them they're really cute and they they're like the neutral pink that i wanted and then i also got um these from target as well 
and I think these were a little bit cheaper this these might have been like 15 dollars so I got two of these as well and in order to incorporate the pink on this side of the patio with the teal on this side I got these with the pink and the cream to put on the chairs that I already had so I got two of these as well to put on the chairs and then the last pillow that I purchased is teal to go on the love seat to match the teal in the chairs so I was trying to blend everything together and make everything look as cohesive as possible but also being kind of like laid back chill and bohemian at the same time so I got this pillow um, in teal turquoise whatever the color is something like that and I got this from Wayfair as well and this one I don't think this one was that expensive and it was on sale too so I'm sorry guys I can't remember but I will link all of the things that I bought online specifically I'll link those in the description box below just so you guys can know where I got it in if you want to get it you can purchase it as well so the next item that I purchased this is from Wayfair as well it is a tray and it's a wooden tray and I honestly thought this tray was gonna be a little bit lighter but it came out to be a little bit darker but Eh, it's not too bad. I plan on putting this on the side with the chairs. So I was trying to bring the wood from the love seat to the other side. So like I said, trying to be cohesive. You know what I'm saying? It's going to look good, I promise. And hopefully I don't look too oily, too crazy. I just got off work. I'm racing against time. I wanted to do this video for you guys while the sun is still out so that I could show you what it looks like during the daytime and then what it looks like at night. So excuse my... uh shirt from the military okay and my attire I just wanted to get this video done for you guys I'm so excited to do it let's move on so the other item that I got from Wayfair is this um, ottoman and it is black it's like a matte black which was the accent color that I was going for and I just liked it because it reminded me kind of of a basket so it reminded me of a basket and I just liked the way it looked and honestly I'm not sure how much this cost um I think mm, like $50 y'all yeah. I bought it online though so I'm going to link this item in the description box so you guys can go ahead and purchase it okay so the other item that I got is this I got this um what is this called uh, I don't know plant holder basket thingy I got this from Target as well I love Target y'all if you know me you know I love Target so I got this one from Target as well and it kind of just reminded me of the ottoman kind of like a basket it is a basket right but the ottoman reminded me of a basket and then it's black so I was like they go together they match I must purchase <laughs> and this was on clearance now it is on clearance for twenty dollars <laughs> I don't know how much of a clearance that is but it was on clearance for twenty dollars so I got that and then I got the little plants inside I got four of them and I think they were like ten dollars each nine dollars each which is still expensive so y'all do the math um yeah just don't leave it in the comments because I don't want to know how much I spent at this point on this I was trying to be frugal and then when you realize you're being frugal you realize you want other things and then you realize when you get more things they cost money so we're gonna move on another plant that I got and I got this one from Target as well I wanted some plants that were kind of high to kind of give you know I guess the aesthetic that I'm like outside in nature and stuff but not outside in nature because I don't like nature um, is this plant and it's kind of tall I don't know how tall it is but I'm pretty sure I don't know how tall it is but it's tall it's tall and I don't know this one was probably like $30 too um, and I got this from Target and it had a white base Kind of like a white cream base is this called a planter y'all i don't know vase plant or whatever so i had this and i was like white goes with anything so there's that so i got this and um i just wanted to make sure i had some kind of levels so i don't know height distribution listen if any of you guys are like an interior decorator or something like that don't come for me with the lingo because i don't know it and I got these other plants from Target as well. They're just cute little accent plants. Just so I was going to put on the side tables to kind of bring everything together. I got another matte black to kind of bring out that black. And then I got one that's wood. So I'm just playing into textures and materials. Aha! Maybe that's the lingo. Textures, materials, and colors in order to incorporate everything and let everything blend and mesh together nicely. So I have a nice little vibe going on on the patio. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this one was $5. 
so I'm more I'm happier to say this price this one is uh, $15 it was $15. I didn't realize it was $15. Anyways, next. So the next couple items that I got from Target is this lantern. And it was in rose gold. Ah, I love rose gold, y'all. I love rose gold. So I just, I saw this and I couldn't resist and I couldn't pass it up. So I made sure to get it because I really wanted it. And I was like, you know what? I'm kind of going for pink. Rose gold is like pink and gold. And I like both. So why not get it? I think this was expensive. I think this one was like 40 bucks because it's like the tall one was 40 bucks. So I really liked it and I got it and the candle inside is separate. I bought this from Target as well, the candle, and I think it was like $10, the candle, but it's an LED candle and it runs on batteries. So I thought that was cool. Like it has a timer and everything. So I was like, that's dope. But it's actually real wax. So the outside of the candle is actually real wax and the inside of it is like LED light. So I thought that was cool. And then I also got this little mini one that matches it, rose gold. Something I could put on one of the side tables just as an added um, bonus so that it kind of contrasts and it matches. So I could put one on one side and one on the other side. You guys know what I'm saying. And then inside I got these little um, copper wire lights and I just thought these were so cute to put in here um, instead of putting like your traditional tea um, what is it tea light candle inside of the lantern they did have LED ones like that but they only came in packs and I only needed like one so I was like eh so I saw these little fairy are they called fairy lights copper wire lights and I thought okay this copper is kind of rose gold and then the lights inside it just makes sense because it's a lantern and then I also got a couple of candles so I got this candle from off of Amazon and I was looking for citronella candles um, because they're supposed to keep bugs away and keep um, mosquitoes away so I was like that's dope if I want to sit outside at night when mosquitoes want to try to eat me up because I'm tasty okay I can just light this candle and they'll stay away at least that's the theory so I wanted to get citronella, citronella candles that were kind of you know cute I guess and made sense so I picked this one off off of Amazon and I, I don't I don't know how much I paid for it probably like 10 bucks and this one is a another citronella citronella candle and I got this one from Target and I just like that it was like pottery and I just thought I don't know it was just different and it was huge so I was like cool this will really help keep the bugs away from biting me um, and it's like lavender and citronella, citronella so it smells pretty good okay and one of the last couple items that I got is this dining privacy screen from Ikea so I originally went to Ikea's site and I saw this but it wouldn't let me purchase I don't know if for some reason they were sold out or what was the case anyways so I wanted white and I went to Amazon and I found it and it's from Ikea and everything so it's the same one exactly so if you went to Ikea site and you couldn't find this exact privacy screen go ahead and try Amazon I'll link it in the description box so you guys can go and pick it up from Amazon hopefully they still have some but this is a privacy screen and it basically just goes along the rails of the patio to give you some privacy so I can't wait to put this up and see how it looks okay and another thing that I got was an outdoor rug I got this one out of Target and it was on clearance for $45 so I feel like I scored it's like five by seven so I'm trying to keep all everything kind of towards the back of my patio so towards like my door and my windows and away from the front of the railing simply because it rains a lot here and I don't want everything to get wet and gross so I'm just trying to keep everything away so I figured I can just keep it more towards the door side it's a five by seven so I'm hoping that it fits pretty good and I also got another rug this one and I got this one it is simply an accent rug but it was kind of woven um, like an outdoor rug so I figured this would go perfect outside and shouldn't cause me any issues and also I wanted to get it because it has kind of blues and teals in there and I thought okay I could put this rug on the side where the um, love seat is so I can kind of bring the teal from this side of the patio to this side of the patio kind of just bringing everything together like I originally planned so I got this and I'm hoping everything comes together good and the last item that I got were the string lights that I got from 
IKEA. They were LED solar powered lights. So I've already attached that outside. So I didn't want to disconnect it to bring it in here to show you guys. I just I connected it last night so that it could get all the sunlight today. So that when I turn it on tonight, it'll be nice and bright and pretty. So when I go outside to put everything together, I'll show you guys those lights so you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I bought those off of IKEA online. So I'll also link those in the description box below. Okay, that's all the items that I got for the patio. Let's just go outside, catch this light while it's the sun is still out, put everything together to make sure everything looks good. Let's hope and pray it all comes together. Let's go. Okay guys, so I <laughs> lost all of my sunlight. I'm sweating like a pig. I have my ISO extremely high because <laughs> I'm trying to catch as much light as possible. But I ran out of light. So I'm just, I'm almost done though. I just have to put a couple pillows down and then that'll be it. So what I'll do is just show, put the lights up because I forgot to put those up. So I'll put those up and then I'll come back and show you everything all together at night. And maybe I'll come back and do a recording tomorrow to see what it looks like during the day. Okay guys, that's the finished look. I had so much fun preparing for this video. It's my first DIY makeover and I had so much fun doing it. I really think that it came out exactly the way I wanted with the whole boho and bohemian vibe that I was going for. It really refreshed and revamped my patio since I spent so much time out there. If you guys like this video, please stay tuned for more. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye, beauties.